early morning and shopping at the ranch market. We are hosting again tonight. So I am alive again. Um, it has been quite the weekend. Um, just hosting, driving around has been such a hassle. Um, mainly because I guess the twins, I'm going to put this on a stand because I don't want to like hold it and it will be all weird, but and my hands get tired. So since I have a stand, I should start using it. I get quite lazy sometimes. And so I might as well. It's one of those stands that kind of like a stabilizer. So it's, it's kind of smooth. So yeah. Um, made it through the whole party situation and um, I did okay you know I didn't really um, get too wasted I prepared my brain mentally to party with the gays and my friends um, I didn't have any hangovers no throw ups so I'm feeling good about it um, days later usually I'm kind of like oh my goodness but um yeah, we took it easy for the most part. At least for me. I can't say for Steve. I think him and Kimmy went harder than usual. But for me, I, I kind of just like chill, you know? But um, yeah, today we are going to have um, some more hosting because I have extra crawfish and we do have a lot of food. Like, I want to host people. I, I tend to buy a lot more and I've done a lot better with calming down and buying less but it's still more than <laughs> you know if I did like 200% before now I'm doing like 120 or 30% so we still have a lot of leftovers like veggies um whatnot and you know when I host I try to do the most you know <coughs> that's why I went to the store a little bit earlier because <clears throat> so my friends friends are vegetarian so I kind of want to include them as well <laughs> And I don't have to, but it's kind of nice to just have there. And if if they don't finish it, I'll figure something out, I'm sure. But, um, yeah. Twins are um, fed, taken care of all day already, so they're chill. I have some moments to myself. And then I'm um, going to pick up Scooper and then prepare some food. So when my friends come, it'll be good to go. So we have that. Um... Yeah, uh, the good thing about this past couple days is that I was really tired from hosting because I drove around everywhere, plus the kids, and a little bit of drinking, um, a little bit of sleep, and um, a little bit of illness. I feel like I still have that illness. I think it's from the yacht because it was so cold. Um, Steve's little party bash on the yacht. And so... Um, <coughs> a little bit under the weather but um because of that i was able to crash hard yesterday and get some good sleep in and um brian's been really helpful because the past couple days i have been like kind of like not fully there because my mind is everywhere so he took care of the kids um for the most part at night and um, when I was gone to uh, go play with Steve. So, yeah. Um, the kids are getting much better at night, so they don't wake up as much. Um, yesterday they didn't wake up at all, so that was a good thing. I mean, there are days where they kind of do wake up in the middle of the night and get like a meal, but um, they're moving towards not waking up at all. And they will be six months in a couple of days, so I think at six months you can train them to sleep through the night without feeding. They're gonna try to fight it, but definitely we gotta make them like understand that, you know, it's time for bed, no more feedings during in the middle of the night, and make sure that they feed enough during the day so that they don't get too crazy at night. Um, they're starting to be more <clears throat> aware, alert, every single day, a little bit more. And um, I sit out here, and I stay away from them after the feedings and the diaper changes and whatnot because if they see me, they're gonna make some noises and they're gonna want me to hold them. But Brian's in there in the room with them and 
He doesn't pick them up, so they understand. We know that they know. So we know not to cater to them. And this is the best way to do it. Um, yeah. I gotta get on Brian's level where he doesn't pick up the kids and they know that he doesn't pick up the kids so they just sit there and chill. They don't make any noise or fuss. But the minute mama walks into the door, it's like both of them are like, kick, 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 pick me up, start screaming, start making noise, just get, start getting fussy and whiny. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we need to get on Brian's level. It's really hard because I do love my babies and when I see them and they want me, then I, I'm going to try. But I know it's very exhausting. You can't do it forever, so that's why I have to keep my distance after I take care of them with the feedings and the huggings and the cuddles and the diaper changes and all that good stuff so yeah I feel like I've gained a few pounds this past weekend I was able to get to 107 pounds and then Steve came and so of course we ate a lot like we sat around and ate all freaking day and so I went up to 100 and pounds so today is not gonna help either because <laughs> I have more people coming over host some more so we have that alrighty let's get the show on the road <laughs> babies are chilling hi Kong hi good 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 this guys have been fun doing tummy time yeah, yeah. And then we have Rain here. He wants out. I know you want out. But you just ate. You gotta yeah. sit for a while, okay? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Gotta keep them entertained, exercising, all that good stuff. Huh, huh, huh. Yes, we should be. So and of course, Brian's in, in meeting. In case, we have Scooper dying. out here. Honey? You gotta eat something, okay? Playing all day at school, getting all that good exercise. Now it's downtime. He wants his iPad. <laughs> all right, we're having crawfish again. The last bit of it. What do we have here? Why? Why do you do this? Why? Huh? These are. Oh my god. Uh, Food tart. Why? Healthy with the fruit. Uh, what is this? Cheese balls. Oh my god. And then we got. Guava rolls. No, potato balls. Hey, 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 hey. And then you got more potato balls. Wait, yeah, more potato balls. And then Lisa had to bring donuts. What is going on? Oh my god. Alright, keep it on the counter. Don't let the kids see. And he's got friends to play with. Fun, huh? Super, come upstairs right now. It's diaper I feel like we do this every single day. It's our uh, daily life situation. <laughs> At the rib I go in. Um, cheers, guys. Today's Naki's birthday. We're celebrating. Cheers, cheers, cheers. You gotta tap it, right? Tap, tap, tap something like that? Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Brian cut up some more because we got a feast going on today. We're getting started. You and I. We're vegetarian. Teamwork. These wild animals. Come finish. Goodness. All right, we're celebrating Naki's birthday. My friend, she's not here anymore, but we still celebrate her life because she's such a lively person, and we love her so much. So, I don't know. Lisa, how long has it been since Naki's been gone? Twelve years. Lisa, Lisa, how long has it been since Naki's been gone? 12 years, yeah, Brian got it right, yeah. All right, well, come here and celebrate her birthday. Today is her birthday. Nagi's Lisa's sister, and we all love her. 
I'm like, no, 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 no. Over here and just over there. Guys? Okay, so what song do you think of when you think of Ducky? Or what song do you make you think of Ducky? Anything from the 90s R&B. Yes, but a song that always makes you think of Ducky. I don't know. Think about it. Which one? Tell us. Anything Curse by Night. Oh my god. Brian said you think I'm in. I don't know. I don't think we ever talked about music no, no, like no, that. No, no, not like that. When you think of it, when you, when no. It's like when you hear the song and then you think of her always. I wrote a song for her. But do you, when you hear that song, do you think of her always? Yeah, okay. because the song I wrote for her. That's cheating, but okay. okay well, wait, wait. I wrote a song for her. Her name is in it. It's called Goodbye. Okay? All right, cake time. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Naki. Happy birthday to you. Can you make a wish? And y'all figure out when you're going to write that song for her, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, there you go. Okay, me and my husband, last people here. Clean, clean, clean. Come in, come in, come in. So precious, so clean, clean. There's two of us doing our own thing and um, making sure that none of this is like crazy mess for tomorrow or ever. All right, guys. Good night. Say good night, Brian. Good night, Brian. <laughs> Sleep tight. Sleep tight.